Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two main event victory fights, kickboxing warriors once again, fighting out of the blue corner. He represents the Titans Muay Thai Gym. He is Richard Keeler. And fighting out of the red corner, he represents Ken Shiro. He is Daniel Vortia. Your referee in charge of the action is Sam Amidi. And listen, for anyone that's just joining us here for the main event of Road to Victory 2, you may have heard the national anthem being sung in the background. Oh, Daniel Vortia, that is the national anthem of Brighton. Great song to hear. Three rounds of professional kickboxing. Daniel Vortier in the green shorts, Richard Keeler in the black shorts, and they're going straight at it right off the bat. Yeah, Vortier using his long range. So we had an interview with Richard before the fight, and he said, listen, these guys have fought each other before. There's going to be no feeling out process, and he was 100% right. Yeah, nice leg work, Richard Keeler. Good combinations from Vortier, as you'd expect. Off the back of the jab, all behind the jab. Keeler, Keeler spoke about this being his last fight at this weight, and he's going to be moving up. And you can see the size difference between the two guys. They literally look like they're separated by an entire weight class. Yeah, Vortier, long, lean. Keeler closing that range. And this one here is going to be interesting, you know. Daniel Vortier has got a few demons to exercise. Last time he was on the Victory Fight show, he, 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 he lost in dramatic fashion. But it looks as if it's taken no confidence away from him. Real aggressive start. Big punches. Beautiful. And there's the combinations that all come behind the jab. But, but, credit, but credit to Richard Keeler, he's still in there. He doesn't seem to be phased in any way by the onslaught. Like you said, they've been in there before. They know what to expect from one another. Nice right hand there from Keeler. Over the top. Lovely straight punches by Vultier. Big kick. Beautiful combination. Tremendous. So fluid, so constant. Great changing, going upstairs, downstairs with the shots. So Keeler's still in this fight. He just seems to be a little bit behind. He just seems to be second to the party every time, but still very much in Beautiful. this fight. Lovely straight right to the body. Both fighters fighting with a beautiful level of composure. Well, this is, this, this is the difference from some of the fights a bit earlier that have a little less experience. Both these guys are very, very experienced and you can see it in their composure, in how they take shots, throw shots. Beautiful combination again from Voltier. Beautiful way to end the round, jumping knee. And you can see, looks like he's not even breathing. Both of these guys are used to fighting at this level, used to fighting at these kind of paces. I'm interested to see how Keeler looks in the second round and the third round because just to make a note, he did miss weight. He did say he's going to be moving up from this weight class. So it'll be interesting to see how much did this weight cut drain him and affect him and is it going to impact him in the later rounds? Again, 
Go Richard Keeler, Daniel Vaultier. Vaultier in the green shorts. Looking to cut the angles for the body shot. Good work by Keeler. I think people are very surprised. When you look at Daniel Vaultier's long frame, slim frame, they don't realize how much power he generates with his shots. Lovely one two there. Nice teep there from Vaultier. Keeler closing the distance well. There just seems to be a difference with the regularity of the shots and the power of the shots. That's a nice left to the body from Vaultier. Good combination upstairs. Richard Keeler's very much in this fight, but his corner keeps shouting to him, you're waiting too long. And, and that, is, that is the perfect observation. Like He's just waiting a bit too long and he's just not throwing enough. Lovely knee down the middle from Vautier. Yeah, he just got the, the better movement at the moment, the crisper movement. Keeler doing a good job of walking him down, cutting off the angles for Vautier, but Vautier just able to string those combinations together. But right there along the cage, Keeler threw a great straight right hand. He threw a lovely low kick just now, but it's just not enough. There's few and far between when he does throw. So if you see there, Keeler landed a lovely straight right hand, but, and look, he just threw a great left hook to the body, right low kick, but for every two shots he throws and lands, Daniel Vautier has thrown and landed at least 10. Beautiful. Nice from Keeler. Lovely work there from Keeler. Lovely straight punches, flush on the chin from Daniel. Jumping knee from Vaultier. Lovely knee, lovely right hand. Lovely right hand there from Keeler. Here we go, last few seconds of this round. Fulce with good head movement at the end of the round there to avoid the shots from Keeler. So this, the third round of our main event, Daniel Vautier, Richard Keeler, here at Road to Victory. So I don't know what was said to Richard Keeler in his corner, but his corner have really fired him up there and he's coming all guns blazing in this final round. Well, there's one round. You might as well leave it all out there. Great to see. It's what we want. What better way to end the Road to Victory 2 card than Daniel Vautier and Richard Keeler absolutely having a war. Nice. Good work again from Vautier. 
And it's fantastic to watch the way he uses his range. Keeler inside, beautiful shot with a left hand. And the thing is that Keeler is really making Daniel Vautier work because he's just walking forward. He never takes a step backwards. He is just plowing forward like the Terminator that he is. Great shot to the body. But great straight punches there from Vautier. Oh, big shots there. Keeler straight back to it. Gets back in the face of 48. Lovely low kick there. Ah, oh, beautiful straight right there from Keeler. Yeah, Vortier needs to keep his hands up. He seems, he seems to be catching a lot more shots from Keeler. This third round beautiful is Beautiful again from Keeler with a right. This third round is the most success that Keeler's had in this fight because he's throwing. Beautiful. Great jab from Vaultier. Good knee inside. Lovely right hand there from Keeler. Oh, oh lovely beautiful. right hand there from Keeler. Keeler's really have found success in this third round. Taking the fight to Vaultier now. Vaultier on his back foot, back against the cage. Vaultier really looks like he's slowing down in this third round. Keeler driving forward as we end towards the end of the round. It's going to be a fight to the finish. Big right hand from Keeler. And there it is, the end. There. What a perfect way, Rob, to end an amazing night, an amazing card, a bunch of fantastic fights, and a perfect main event to end the weekend. Well, it'll be over to the judges and our MC, Grant Waterman, for the official scorecard. I'm Rob Nutley, and I'll say goodnight. I've been alongside Ahmed Tijani, Mr. Crate of the World. Thank you guys for joining us on an amazing night in Brighton. Till next time. Till next time. We'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to finish a night of Victory Fights action. Give these, both these guys a round of applause, please. What a war. But after three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the red corner, Daniel Vortia. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a fantastic runner-up, Richard Keeler.